So, are we ready? Okay, I'll just say this interview is for the website, the Russian website, misarubka.ru. It's the Russian heavy metal website, cool. basically. And the uh, first question is definitely about St. Petersburg. You had a show there yesterday, right? Yeah. Yep. So how did you like it? It was fucking awesome. Yeah. Uh, I walked away with like bruises. We, we all have bruises yeah. and fucking cuts. Did you go into the mosh pit or something? Yes. Really? I did. I, did. Uh, went down there. I put my guitar down for the last song. We were all crowd surfing all night and I jumped in and they dropped me so I landed in the crowd. So standing with the entire audience singing the whole song. It was so fucking cool. So just everyone piled up on top of me just with the microphone. It was great. It was, it was insane. The whole show. Was it was it what you expected to have in, in Russia? We knew it was me. We knew it was me great. Definitely uh the top. Yeah. Last night was fucking crazy. Like they were really amazing. Yeah. Yeah. We're very yeah, happy about that. Very happy about that. Very nice. Cool. Very nice. It's, it sucks to be a metal band that just dudes come out. Well, it's, a, it's, like, yeah, it's, a, welcome, it's a welcome change because we just got off the Unholy Alliance with Slayer. A lot of and man. it was fucking, there was so much testosterone on that tour. Just like, dudes, that's on it. On stage and off stage. It was just like... Yeah, that's it was, true. I was there yesterday as well. Oh, yeah. They had the show, they had the show here yesterday. Yeah. Probably a lot of guys, right? Yeah, exactly. It's mean, amazing. Our, our, our shows usually, girls tonight. will come out to our shows usually. Like in Japan, it's like 50-50. So I mean, yeah. you know, some male bands like, how do you feel about girls coming? Like, I fucking love it. It's fucking better than just dudes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Look, we were we were asked at an interview. He's like, as a guy, how do you feel about having girls there? I'm just like, what do you fucking think? <laughs> I fucking love it. <laughs> what do you dislike it? <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, I see. So, did you get to see any places in St. Petersburg? Yes, yeah, we've been not planning on not sleeping the whole time we're here. We've been sleeping yeah. a little bit, but we got in, I think, at like 11.30, like the first night. Yeah, 10, 11.30. Oh, the first night. Yeah, the first night. Um, we walked around all night, but the first thing we wanted to do is get traditional food. So, we had uh, borscht and uh, pelmini, yeah, and uh, Russian vodka for the first time, oh, Russian yeah. beer. Um, next thing we knew, it was 2 a.m., went to bed because we had a show, woke up first thing in the morning, walked all around St. Petersburg again, and just really yeah, nonstop. Yeah, we, That's all we've been doing. We've been sightseeing, pretty much eating. in between, like doing stuff like this, like interviews, and you know, maybe checking our gear a little bit. We just kind of go out and enjoy it. It's like, it, it, it sucks having this, like, uh, I guess, very what, monotonous kind of schedule of just showing up to the venue, sitting in the venue eat some bland food, you know, play the show. It's like, that's not a way to experience the culture. And I think, you know, getting to do that is just a, a whole new way of traveling. Yes, we've been definitely sightseeing everything that we can as quickly as we, not quickly, but to be able to get everything yeah. in the area and, and eating. Because I've never had Russian food before. I've had just like, you know, American versions of. Right. But it's great, man. Like, I've never been a fan of vodka. Russian vodka is amazing. As we said, beautiful women, amazing sights. Like, we were in the Red Square today and got to see right. the, uh, the mausoleum, right? Yeah, yeah. We had to see that and try to do as much as we could before soundcheck. And, uh, right, so what, what took you so long getting here, anyway? I don't know. We talked to our agent, I <laughs> you guess. Should have, you should have come, like, three, four, three years ago, I guess. Yeah. Three years ago would, would have been the, the time. We're going to keep coming back. Well, I mean, we've been waiting for, for this show. I mean, I've been waiting for yeah, it personally. Yeah, since the because, Yeah, for, since, since quite a long time. Yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to keep coming back now. It's kind of like that with... Uh, Australia, we didn't get down there until like we, we released the Crusade, and you know it's some, it's just hard, I guess, for some bands and stuff. And at, at three years ago, we were definitely a different band. We weren't at this level where we can come into the like countries like here. I mean, yeah. it wasn't hard coming in, but I can imagine three years ago it would have been a little bit more difficult for us. We wouldn't yeah, really know what we do. thought we needed like this kind of equipment or this kind of conditions, but nowadays. We roll even being anything. bigger, which is weird is we are more able to just roll with anything. With technical difficulties, no problem. If we have shitty equipment, no problem. Right. If right. someone breaks their hand, no problem. We could we could do whatever we gotta do now. Right, right. So with the new with the new album, uh, the first thing I wanted to ask is uh, you said you didn't like screaming some time ago when when the crusade yep. came out. Now you're back to it again. So what yeah. what's changed? When we were doing the crusade we were so over anything that had anything to do with like I guess modern metal, modern underground yeah, metal, yeah. like really anything, because we feel Ascendancy was really ahead of its time. Some places in Europe thought it was one style, Ascendancy was just metal, it was metal that took screaming vocals in because it was something we liked, it came from bands like Pantera and Testament and Death, and um, when we did the Crusade, everyone was doing the Ascendancy formula, we feel like we did that album and then every single other band was kind of doing scream, sing, scream, sing, solo, blah, blah, blah. 
and we wanted to do the opposite of what we have ever done. So we wanted to release something that was very different. Because I feel a sentence is very different from ever, but when we did the crusade, we wanted to be the opposite of a sentence, but still trivial. Right. And um, yeah, so at that point in time, we were definitely done with those kinds of bands. And after doing that record, keeping some time away from it, I was able to we were able to get more back into the bands that we truly love that did that stuff. So now it's 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 like an accent in our music now. Our music now combines everything that we've ever done good. It's got the singing from all the albums, and it's the screaming from the first two. And, uh, I think so I think more. making like the crusade in a way is kind of like opened our eyes to like what we really enjoy doing as a band and what we really think the tribute sound is like. Because we didn't go through making the last few records the way we did, uh, we wouldn't be at this point. We wouldn't be as focused. And yeah. I think from now on, I think CD the CDs will be a lot more focused because we know who we are as a band and what we want to achieve and what our sound is. You know, and I think we we kind of finally have come close to what the Trivium sound is, is going to be, you know, yeah, years Yeah, definitely. The new, the new record shows it, that you've sort of gathered all the best stuff you've had and you put it yeah. into this record. And you're totally. opening your, your own new sort of direction. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. It takes time, you know. I mean, if it takes another three albums to get to that definitive, you know, sound, I mean, it took a band like Rush six albums to finally get it right and, you know, break through. And, and we had plenty of time. We're all really young guys. and. Yeah. We, we're going to tour as hard as we can and as much as we can and put out, you know, as many albums as they'll let us <laughs> until they stop carrying our CDs. So. That's good. So, uh, did you write all the guitars on Ember yourself? I mean, on Ember? Yeah. Yes, the really, really have so three you, members. You were I, was the the, only I was the only guitar player. How old were you then? 16, 17? So maybe between 15 and 17. Some of the songs were written between 15 and 17. Right. That's what amazed me in the album because I first heard Descendants, then I heard Ember. And, uh, well, first of all, I was listening, it's a cool album, I really like it. And I'm probably the odd guy because I like it most out of yeah. all the albums. We know, we've got a lot of fans that are, there's specific fans out of that Ember is their favorite. So some is Ember, some is Ascendancy, some is Shogun, some is Crusade, which is cool. It's cool that people can have a favorite of each one. And there's even more unique stuff that comes before that. Like um, we've got a demo that was right before Ember that has seven songs two of which were on Ember as well, and then we've got 15 songs the world's never even heard before from pre-Ember, pre-demo, right. Right. and maybe we'll release those someday. I see. Well, the guys just come over to say that we have to finish on this, so... Okay. Yeah, I mean, one, just, one... Just, just get... Let's, we can do the rest of the ones you got. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do the rest. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's good. Thanks. So, um, <coughs> next one is... Um, you've covered Metallica, you've covered Iron Maiden. I heard that Corey likes Megadeth more than Metallica. Yeah, in some interview you said that. So uh, are we gonna have a cover of Megadeth song? Something Tonight you're gonna get a lot of bullshit, a lot of good bullshit. Yeah, yeah. yeah last night we, we played. Like, we know five to thirty seconds of every song ever. Well, I think that's tonight, like we, we could probably we could probably bust out more. We didn't even do last night. Yeah. like we all know Let's a do, bunch. We know a lot of shit. Like your yeah. Master of Puppets cover was that excellent. I mean, it's it's really well, you're, 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 gonna, you're gonna get so many covers good. tonight that you're never gonna want to hear another tribute cover again. Yeah, yeah. but they're all <laughs> really covers. You'll get a couple full ones. You'll get a couple halves. You get a couple, couple first verses, a couple choruses, a couple riffs, maybe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're, we're serious oh, at our shows, but we also know how to be really not serious. Right. That's what I've always liked about like watching like the old like Metallica DVDs, just like. These dudes are selling out stadiums and arenas, but they're still like having fun. They would yeah, have jam yeah. sessions. They drink beer and just like hang out, and a couple would go in the crowd, and a, you know, a few dudes might play. And it, it's such a good vibe because then it's like it's a party, it's fun, and you know, you're smiling and having a good time as opposed to putting on this facade of being such a manly man all the time. Yeah, it's like yeah. we're, we just want to have fun. Right, right. And uh, well, uh, about Slayer again. They played here yesterday. Yeah. Does this change anything for you? You've been playing with them on tour. When yeah. was that? Well, was we just finished three days. Like a month and a half. So, ago. so you just came to two different days to Moscow. Yeah. They yeah. came yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, the, does it change anything for you for that they play? Uh, they played yesterday here before you, and half the guys that went to the Slayer concert will come to your show today. Oh, um, well, I, I think it's, I think it's your performance it's or not. Better. It's yeah. Better. If anything, you're gonna get more. <laughs> you, get, you get twice. <laughs> More than twice as long of a set than we would have done opening for them. If we yeah. opened for them, we'd only play 40 or 45 minutes. Tonight, people are going to get between yeah. an hour and a half and two hours. It's kind of a rush, too. Like, we couldn't really, 
like stop and really like yeah, do can, what we normally do. Can engage yeah. the crowd on that. So what, what was it like? Uh, uh, the experience you had yesterday headlining in Russia for the first time it was and, incredible. and playing as an opener for Slade. Both incredible, but they're both so different. You know, one is about getting new fans and playing in front of your fans and keeping it very just about the music. That's opening for a band, whether it's Slayer or Metallica or Maiden or Flames or whatever it is. It's it's always different opening for someone. But when you're headlining, it's completely your crowd. So that if you've already won them over, you know, maybe you can win them over a little more, and you just have a good time with it. It's more like you're playing for friends instead of you're trying to win people over. Yeah, right. right. Yeah, it's a little more relaxed. I see. So uh, the next question, to Tom Araya or Araya. How do you pronounce it? Right. Right. right, yeah. He's he's a Catholic, right? Yeah. And they all sing about like God hates the saints, yeah. Satan and yeah. stuff. And I remember you guys, I don't remember all of you, some of you were wearing like pentagrams and like stuff like that. I mean was it was it something of, of this sort of the show image or something? No, the thing is like I was into black metal when I was like an early teen. And like, yeah, right. you know, I thought I was really into that mentality, but I grew up and I'm like, you know what, this stuff's cool as music, but not as a lifestyle. And most of those people that are in those bands don't even take it that seriously, <laughs> yeah, I okay. guess. Uh, for us, you know, I, I don't know what the other three guys are, but, but for me, I'm, I'm not religious, but I'm completely encouraging of people who are religious. I think for people who use it as a good thing in their life, that's awesome. Because my whole thing in life is it doesn't matter who you are, what you believe in, what you do, what color your skin is, what kind of people you love, what kind of things you like. As long as you're a good person and you don't hurt anything, and right. you know you're just into having a good time. And right. Don't worry, he's he's alive. <laughs> and you know, so as long as you know, I think people should be free to live the way they want to live, as long right. as it's not hurting right. anything else. I think it also looks, you know, pentagrams and upside down crosses will always look cool on shirts. Yeah, we've got a shirt with a pentagram on it. Yeah, it's metal. metal. Yeah, it looks metal. metal. Yeah. Like, it'll always be associated with metal. None of us are Satanists, though. Yeah. No. Okay. And, um, well, two more questions. First one that will really be important for the fans. <coughs> a very short question, okay? <laughs> when is the next time we'll see you in Russia? We don't know. Hopefully within the next... Hopefully, you know, it'll be nice before we go to record the next album. But, uh... If not, we'll definitely be back for sure. We love it here, and hopefully next we time we can bring a bigger, bigger production and <clears throat> our gear and maybe some bands. Yeah, we like I think with these kind of shows, it's kind of like the first time we play anywhere we go around the world. It's like we go in, you know, play to a couple hundred people, but it's like word of mouth. It's like people are always like, "Dude, you, you missed a killer show!" And the next time we come back, it like doubles and it just right. keeps multiplying. Right. The fans just come out of nowhere. Great, great. Well, I think we'll have to finish. Then. We have Thanks to finish so after one more yeah. thing. Uh, okay. uh, please, guys, you just uh, look at the camera and say something about uh, special for my Saruka stay brutal or this kind of stuff. So, like an ID what? for the station? Could you just look at the camera yeah, yeah, yeah. and what's say the thing? What's the site? Uh, mesorupka. Mesorupka. Dot ru. Dot ru. Yes. Mesorupka. Dot ru. Yes. Uh, okay. Hey, mesorupka. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. You can say it. <laughs> Hey, what's up? I'm Matt. I'm Paulo. We're, We're from uh, Trivium. Uh, let's try again. Hey, I'm Matt. I'm Paulo. We're from Trivium. And you're watching Mesorupka.ru. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, guys. Thanks a lot. Cool. Awesome.